make a video. But I'm sick. Well, then make a review. Okay. But first. <sighs> this is the Nano Key Studio by Cord. I'm gonna tell you everything good about it, everything Meh. about it. Who's a four and who's a not four? So let's do this. So this kid's basically just a MIDI controller and does just about everything you expect a MIDI controller to do, so I'm not really gonna talk about features except ones that are special. And first up, it's wireless. It runs off AAA batteries and it connects through Bluetooth. And you can actually run it as a power mode as an optional switch to switch to USB power, but it still connects through Bluetooth, so you don't have to worry about any kind of connection issues or actually connecting through USB. It just uses the USB for power. And the second coolest feature of this is LEDs on all the buttons. It doesn't actually do anything, but I think it looks cool and it's fun. The third thing is actually the touchpad. I'm not a big fan of touchpads with keyboards. I find them to be pretty shoddy most of the time, but you can actually pick on this guy to set the touchpad to be pitch and modulation. And it actually works pretty well. And finally, they're super cheap. They're $130 new. Yeah, that's great, Campbell. What's crappy about it? Uh, as far as portability and price goes, it's frankly fantastic. But bear in mind, this is a MIDI controller, not a MIDI keyboard. It has a keyboard, but think far more of it as a controller. These keys are not, like, fun to play. Turning something has a fair amount of notes. This is just a bunch of buttons in the shape of a keyboard. It's not a keyboard. But for me, I needed something where I could play mostly monophonic synths, so this actually worked pretty well. But some other problems I've had on it is that it randomly disconnects once in a while. It doesn't have that often, and it may be a dollar computer-related issue, but maybe once in a while it'll disconnect. But I find it really easy to reconnect, and it has a status LED up top. When this is blinking, it generally always means that it's disconnected. So that's nice to know when things aren't working. The battery life is okay. It's not bad, it's not great. But it has the auto shut-off timer, which is adjustable, which I find pretty nice. So who is this device for? Me, personally, I don't really like using big keyboards on stage if I can help it. They get in the way, they're hard to perform with, and I find them a bit fragile. One is something that could take a bit of a beating that I could run around and actually perform with. And for the most part, the Nike Studio works pretty well. And in fact, for me, it's a bit too light. I actually want it to be a little bit bigger and heavier because I need something to push back on me, but I can just grab this and run in the crowd and go play some filters or knobs and some simple parts. And having things being completely wired is super freeing. <laughs> Again, think of this far more as a MIDI controller and less of a MIDI keyboard. Its small form factor is really great for me as well because it makes it very portable and easy to integrate into my existing setup without having to replace anything. And I found setup of it live was pretty easy and stable. But who is this not for? This will not replace a full-fledged MIDI keyboard on stage. This is not what you're going to do. If you're playing any kind of complicated parts, this is not a pleasant device to play with. It doesn't feel good. It feels like you're pushing a bunch of buttons. So if you have a MIDI keyboard that's suiting your needs, it's probably not going to be replaced by this cat. If you want something that has some simple interfaces with your doll, this is definitely the way to go. <clears throat> Honestly, it's pretty damn configurable for such a small MIDI controller. They have their own software that you can download to do it, or you can do just about everything on the system itself. Including normal stuff like picking the MIDI channel or assigning a particular CC or note to the pads or the knobs. As well as a pretty fleshed out number of options for the arpeggiator. But if complicated ass arpeggios are your thing, I don't know why you'd be using this keyboard. So should you buy it? I'd probably say yes, it's super cheap, and you can get them used for even cheaper. And as someone who's not a fan of the fragility of a lot of MIDI keyboards, I like that I can just take this sucker and throw it in my backpack and I don't have to worry about if it's going to work or not. But if you got any more questions, feel free to shoot them downstairs, and I'll do my best to answer what you got. But I'm going to get out of here, so later kids!